Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies, and I'm gonna try something tonight that's probably a little bit ill-advised. You can hear some squealing in the background of this video, and no, that's not your VHS tape. That is my three-year-old. So, <laughs> it's pretty late, and she really should be heading off to bed now. Guppy, bedtime soon. But, uh, she does want just a minute longer so we'll see if we can both get through this together and uh, you're in it for the ride <laughs> and in this video a couple of replays that I have found interesting and of course there's a ton of great material you guys have sent me and I have recorded I'm all caught up on recording replays and the next major update to War Thunder 1.101 raining fire is coming tonight so with that say goodbye to the doom barn at least as we've known it and as it's performing in this video now Fisky's not going to be taking a lot of hits in this match and that's exactly how you want things to go with the FV4000, what is it, 4002, 4005, something like that. Anyway, an odd, odd design with a 180 some millimeter naval cannon strapped to the, uh, well, the barn on top of this tank that's made to house it. Your mobile, oh snap house, <laughs> for whatever you need to blow up. Just any darn thing in the game. I'm kind of curious what this would do to top tier tanks, but maybe the protection analysis would be a quicker route to finding that out than trying to lay hands on some top tier vehicles in open matches. You can see Visky's getting a little frisky there with his uh, turret decal setup. And also, what I've been trying to say this whole time before my ADD constantly distracted me is that I, I don't I've never been diagnosed with ADD okay I'm just I'm just using it hyperbolically but that's pretty good demonstration anyway the FV is getting hull brake mechanic added to its turret uh, presumably because the turret armor is rather thin I think it's around 18 millimeters at its thickest point so not reliable and definitely fitting with other vehicles that probably should get hull brake. I think, I think the automatic is also getting hull brake. I'm not sure if it had it before, so correct me if I'm wrong. So that's going to be an interesting change to the FV. Even under ideal circumstances, this tank has issues with survivability at the battle ratings that it commonly faces absolutely anything can punch through your turret and that is something of a problem meaning that this tank with its long reload and very derpy gun is generally best played in long range engagements if you can nail down your range finding but what if you didn't what if you were Visky? <laughs> and as you may have noticed from Visky in the past, he is not the kind of guy that wants to sit back and plink at targets from long range. If there's a spot where he can find some cover and hit some people while they're on the move, or even pop out and smack them in the face depending upon what he's in, then he absolutely goes for that. And today will be no exception, although not as much brawling and a lot more spalling. It will be appalling. <laughs> anyway, already four kills in as much time as it took me to get to the point, which is, hey, check this out. Visky lining up a shot. Will he go for the turret? Oh, oh, Tiger 2P. Thank you kindly for presenting that side profile for the kaboom ski. Guppy, say kaboom. She said kaboom. Alrighty. Uh, definitely one of the things that this tank is lacking is horsepower, which is 
no surprise <laughs> to fans of British tanks. They're either extremely speedy with absolutely no armor or generally underpowered and that basically comes down to a couple of factors that really boil down to one thing. Brits went a little bit cheap in terms of tank design when it came to their powertrains. So that's just, just a thing and you'll hear people say differently. That's just my opinion. It's my assessment of the situation but it's pretty consistent. In fact it's still going on today. Look at all the modern MBTs and then look at what is it? Chally 2 is their, their current um, MBT. I, I would insert the phrase sad excuse for Anne, but uh, I suffer from a condition known as American bias, where America pretty much just does everything better than everyone else, so it's hard to have a fair opinion on what you poor other peasants are doing. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. I mean, but it's usually true. Anyway. We're even good at being bad, so that's kind of a problem. Next up, we hear some engine sounds. Many enemies already cleared out of this area, and Visky already up to six kills, basically lurking as his teammates drop one by one. This spot always very popular, and Visky, you will notice, one of two people currently playing the objective. <laughs> Everybody else uh, set up in cheeky sniping positions. You can see that those are some very nice spots for sniping at the enemy. And maybe they're doing a good job of covering the flanks. While the heavy gun on Visky's FV does the heavy lifting. A little bit of cast coming in. And I'm sure they're kicking all kinds of ass because that's what they do. Uh, shortly before you slam into the ground as you do <laughs> I don't like I don't get why people still do that I guess the revenge boner is pretty strong for some folks but uh, I mean it doesn't take all that much learning to learn how to pull out but I don't know that's just my preferred method y'all play the way you like to play because after all War Thunder is not a game that's about competition. No, in fact, uh, the competition in War Thunder is pretty frustrating because the game's not balanced for competition. The game is balanced for fun. <laughs> so that you can take a vehicle out that's not supposed to do super well. And the FV is definitely one of those vehicles. Generally, you'll get one or two kills, and then you get overrun, overwhelmed, and, uh under protected by your armor. Now, this is not a fighting vehicle with significant amounts of turret protection. You'll have to go to that other tank game for that vehicle and uh, well I think it was never actually built or something. I, th I think the turret was never mounted. Anyway, not my problem. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Yeah, the more, to go off on another tangent, but the more I learn about War Thunder and its history, having experienced a lot of it for myself in various states of mind maturity and mental breakdown. Oh, moving on to the mouse. <laughs> Speaking of breakdown, of, hi baby, you're blinded. She has made a custom blindfold for herself. You want to come say hi? Come here, baby. Yeah, your eyes are all covered. Come to daddy. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah walk to me. There you go. You're peeking a little bit. Come say hi to the microphone. I'm recording right now. Come on. Hi. Over here to the microphone. Talk to the light. Hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi, baby. Ready? Say, bring back the mouse. Bring back the mouse. Say, mouse event when. Not the day when. <laughs> Very Daddy, good, baby. I opened my eyes. You did open your eyes. And what do you see on the TV right now? Uh, I saw a tank. You see, is it a big tank? Yeah. 
is gigantic. It's enormous. That's the mouse. It's the only super heavy tank in the game. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing. I'm chaining my wipe to a necklace. Yeah. Why does that smell like candy and wipes? I'm just gonna kind of ignore that for now. Go play, baby. Daddy's almost done making a video. So, <laughs> you heard it from Brooklyn. Bring back the mouse. <laughs> this tank is fun. Uh, again, War Thunder, if you treat it like a game that's never supposed to be balanced for competition, that is the secret to really enjoying this game. This is not a competitive PvP game. It is a vehicle's sandbox with PvP. Because Gaijin sucks too bad at making PvE to make it actually work. And honestly, PvP really does bring out the strengths and weaknesses of these vehicles. It really savors their flavor in a way that comes to life and makes War Thunder such an incredible and unique game and really once I embraced that just the fact that this game is not supposed to be balanced some vehicles are going to be better than others and that's okay you know what then something like the mouse makes a lot more sense it's a struggle bus most of the time but if you expect it to struggle and thus every bounced round every absorbed shot every survived impact Every point scored, every kill and kill assist is a victory, even capturing zones every now and then. Yeah, well then you're getting entertained, aren't you? You could even start having fun if you want to. And that's exactly what Jane is doing now, having picked up, again, a quick three kills as he pushes his way all the way across the, one of the tiniest maps in the game uh, that was originally an April Fool's joke, but uh, there's certain elements of this map that are just really, really cool. This is one of the first sort of modern city, or I guess village maps in the game. An interesting contrast between a uh, barren wasteland, well not entirely barren, but maybe sort of red barren. And, uh, <laughs> see what I did there? Red barren, I cracked myself up. And I was also trying to help guide uh, Jane's rounds when he was firing the 75 range finding howitzer, as you do. Uh, how can you remove such a wild, iconic, Powerful, albeit overpowered in the current meta, and just fun tank is the mouse. I, I'm never going to understand that, and I, I really would love to see this tank back in the game again. But you know what? There's other things. If the mouse doesn't come back anytime soon, there's other stuff to do. You know, there's, there's lots and lots of places to find fun in this game. And I suppose for most of the people that really fell in love with it, they already have their hands on it. Because after all, if you love it, you should have put RP on it. <laughs> anyway, already up to an ace and picking up... Nope, never mind. Not quite yet. Uh, carefuling there. Yes, T92. Just drive. Just press W to win, lad. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> and you can see why the mouse definitely does well against a lot of 6-7 tanks. So balancing issues in any event i really enjoyed spending some time with you and showing off my three-year-old uh, that is brooklyn guppy the tank baby oh i guess now she is a tank toddler but uh, she's always going to be my baby catch you guys in the next video Bye bye